so I am getting ready to make a dress for an event um, coming up in a little under a week, five days to be exact. <laughs> Excuse the mess. <laughs> what I did off camera was figure out exactly what my measurements are for what I need to cut. Here is the design a little closer up. We are going to start measuring and cutting. So I have my fabric folded in fours. So basically I folded it in half, then I folded it again. What I'm going to do is be cutting two pieces out for the top, two pieces for the bottom, and then um, I will make the adjustments from there. Now I know in traditional sewing, if you're using a pattern, you would cut all these pieces separately. However, I've already shared that I do not know how to use traditional patterns. And so this is how I approach cutting out a piece. I'm going to take a pencil because I couldn't find a white color pencil. And I don't have any Taylor's chalk. Amateur move amateur move also if you if you are not comfortable in like going straight into the fabric even if you don't know how to use patterns feel free to get like some cheaper fabric like some muslin or something really thin that you can um cut up and won't feel you know bad about obviously you don't want to go in on your actual fabric if you're not ready but um use something like some muslin or something like that to actually cut out um a test piece um, or you can buy rolls of craft paper and use craft paper to make your own patterns, especially if it's a design that you see yourself replicating in the future. You can kind of see some of them are doubled, but you can see my little marks that I've made. I know which one is the right one here, but these are for my spacing. And so now we are going to cut. So I cut everything down. I put on my headphones because I really need to zone out when I sew because we're about to get to it. So I cut all my pieces out. Um, as you can see, they are very oversized, which was the point because again, I only have one shot at this fabric. Um, and so I do make I do make my first cut pretty big so that I can do all the pinning that I need to do in order to get the shape just right. Especially when it's a fabric that I know I didn't buy more than enough that I'm really gonna get use of the surplus. We're gonna pin all the right sides together so we can get us a quick stitch in, see how the fit is make some alterations and then go from there. So I'll be back in a second. This is the best $5 you can spend if you sew because there's nothing like having to like reach around for your for your pin cushion or for your magnet, uh, for your tray, for your pins and you can prick and pull, prick and pull and it is uh, chef's kiss. It's a whole thing. Vlogging is a whole thing. But my friend does not know anything that I do. She just knows that I do a bunch of stuff. And it's really crazy because she will sell you anything on me. But I love that for me. Get you some friends who make up job titles. Um, because telling people I'm a mayor and a fitness instructor is so crazy. I'll never get over it. All right, so I'm going in with like a basic zigzag stitch. And my sewing machine is a Brother CS6000i. I got it from Amazon. It's actually linked in my Amazon storefront, but they also do offer something very similar at Joann's um, and at Walmart. Some Walmart stores have full um, sewing sections. So if you are in the market for a sewing machine and you're just not sure, you know what I mean, what you want, how you want it to be done, then I would check out 
the local Walmart for some affordable ways to get into the mix without blowing a bag out the gate because sewing can be a very expensive hobby but it also can be very rewarding especially if you really invest the time in like making it something that you can make money off of um I don't still take like sewing projects but I'm not against it it's just something that you gotta have time for so we got our first stitch okay and then what I'm going to do to actually adjust it, because I will be adding darts, I'm going to be adding some seaming, you know, making some tailoring decisions here, which really should, like, it should be cut out in separate pieces, but, like, y'all saw my girl said I got 10 jobs. Baby girl got, we got to be efficient, okay? Also, just to add a little sewing education in here while I'm doing it, when I'm, like, when y'all see my hand back here, I'm not pulling the fabric. I'm feeding the fabric. So if you ever sew with something stretchy, never pull the fabric because when you um, when you take your pins out, you'll find that the fabric will be, like, puckered because you've, like, put it under duress while you were stitching. So, like, you know, I don't even know if y'all sew, but if you sew, you need to know that. Yes. Okay. I'm going to cut the skirt up the back so that I can add the center seam, add the split, um, and then I'm probably gonna get a longer zipper so that I can step into the dress. Um, and it fits, the, like the zipper I have now will only fit the top of the dress. So I need a zipper that's, that's gonna actually go a little bit longer. That is the column look, so let's see. Now I'm nervous, but now I have to try the skirt on again to make sure the skirt fits. I've added these darts in the, oh, where they go? I've added these darts in the front to help the fit in the waist. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. I added these little darts in the front to bring it in in the waist. So now it fits perfectly in the waist for when I attach this top section. It has matching darts. So it'll look really clean and really snatched. Look at me. I'm trying to make sure this is even because I will literally cry if my center seam is going like this up the crack. So we got our seam up the back. This is going to have a very high slit. So I had an idea to do an invisible zipper because I feel like that would be really sleek. But then I'm like, why not turn up the heat and do a gold zipper? Um, That is what I'm thinking. That's what I'm leaning towards. We are currently on TikTok Live trying to put the finishing touches on our dress for Sunday. I'm freaking out. Why am I having a whole freaking moment about putting this glue on this fabric? Okay. I'm gonna just do it. It's just gonna. We're going for it. We're going for it. It's happening. This is what we're using to attach. I feel like your brain is trying to freak you out. For I'm putting the glue on this dress. That anxiety at work. We're just going to bring this around. The way I feel like I am going to choke. Oh my gosh, no, this is not sticking. <gasps> what did I do wrong? Is it not enough? Um, The first row of feathers is down. Look at the mess. It looks like Big Bird's demonic cousin threw up in here. It is on there. See this? Thank you. 